guys so as you can see i just got back in from the supermarket i just got a couple of things nothing crazy because i already did like a little bit of a grocery shopping the other day that i didn't show y'all at stop and shop i did run into the pharmacy to get my prescription medication and a couple of things that was in there that i found so i'm gonna show y'all like a quick little haul um firstly i do want to thank y'all all for your blessings and congratulations on my last vlog announcing our engagement if you didn't see that video i keep an eye are engaged to be married and yes you guys thank you so much for all your love and support i really appreciate it we appreciate it so out of out of the supermarket i just got i literally only went in there for half a half okay but you know how your girl is when she goes into the supermarket or just any store if she sees something and she needs it or feels like she needs it she gonna pick it up okay <laughs> so i went into where was that key food i think it was key food right and i did get some eggs one of the eggs broke in the car i got 18 because i do have like a 24 count and the 18 count egg holder and we need more because i make eggs almost every morning lucky loves like eggs in the morning with his food so i try to keep eggs on stock i mean i did get like the really big ones from costco's once before but that was like a lot of eggs at one time so i don't think i'll get it that big i think they have another one that's smaller than the one that i got i might get that one from costco's instead i did re-up on some tasters choice i still want to get my nest cafe gold regular right now i have the espresso which is really good you guys but i also want to get the medium roast like the regular one so i might order that as well other than that i couldn't find anything else that i was really digging so i just got this just to have and refill back up that i did get a big old goya they had a lot of seasonings in that um key food i believe it was so we use this adobo a lot and the one i have now it's a fresh one but i just when i seen this one i thought the price was decent so i got this and i did get this jamaican choice meat and poultry seasoning which will come in handy it had a lot of different seasonings so when i seen that i was like yeah and then i just got this little treat to lakeith it is um junior's raspberry it's the little tiny cheesecake right now he's watching his figure or whatever <laughs> um he started working out or whatever so he still like his little things but like i'll go in and get him like the big banana pudding or the big because he loves it but if i get it he'll be tempted to eat it so i got him a tiny one and then i did get this big salmon filet i haven't seen this brand with the salmon fillets in a while i normally see the tilapia and i like this brand right here um they had the tilapia but i was like let me get the salmon i've been in the mood for salmon lately like i love me some tilapia i know a lot of people have their thoughts about that but i love me some tilapia but lately i don't know why i've been like craving that salmon that fatty salmon taste normally which i run away from but my body craving it next out of the pharmacy like i love cvs like if you don't know i love walgreens i love rite aid and all of that but cvs it's like this to me okay they be holding your girl down so they had like a little sale i did pick up three boxes of cereal they had them on sale for 1.99 i don't know when the sale be over but when you're seeing this vlog i got it the day before so i got cinnamon toast crunch it is 1.99 i got lucky charms mila love lucky charms i think lucky really likes cinnamon toast crunch and i really love honey nut checks i got a cereal for almost everyone 1.99 what is still normally cereal be expensive i did pick up this kind Kinder Egg, milk chocolate. Y'all know I love the Kinder Egg sticks. And Mila likes the Kinder Egg egg. I said Kinder Egg. This is not eggs. The Kinder chocolate and i got the holiday one just you know to share with everyone i have like the candy basket over there christmas decorate with me the holiday candy basket and i like to fill it up for like when people come over my sister is coming over this weekend i'll probably vlog that or whatever so um yeah you know it's the holiday cheer i did get me mila let's see your baby shark I'm, i picked up a baby shark for mila bring your baby shark mila you gonna stalk me with the baby shark or something bring it back <laughs> okay she's stalking the baby shark so i got her this baby shark it is water activated they have the yellow the blue and the pink this is mommy shark daddy shark and baby shark we seen it in tj maxx that last time when i got all those holiday stuff from the tj maxx and she picked up um i think she picked up daddy shark because they didn't have any of the others available then she seen something else and put it back and then she was mad that she put it back so when i seen it i was like let me get it for her and she loves it it how would work how would work mimi how did you do it Oh. So I had to hold down right here because it's water activated. So for it to work outside of the water, I have to hold it down. Woo! She really swims. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He's swimming. Yeah. He looks pretty. He swims. Here you go, baby. You can take it back. Go finish your cereal. 
She would not leave me until I, okay. She wouldn't leave me until I gave it back. <laughs> She's like, where are you going with my stuff? I didn't bring Mila with me, so she didn't see me when I picked it up. I surprised her with it. Another thing that I got out of the pharmacy, you guys, is another plant. Y'all know I got Sammy the snake plant. He's thriving. Look at him. I haven't updated y'all on my plant. This is my first real plant for my home. And it's a snake plant. And one of you guys named him Sammy for me. So he's doing well. I have him up on the shelf. I, I water him every 10 days. And it's a natural air purifier. So I did get him from the same CVS pharmacy that I went to. It was on sale. And that's what made me pick it up. And then found another one. It's on sale. It's for the holiday. It's a holiday cactus. It was $5.99. It was on sale as well. You guys. Oh, look at it. even came in this holiday holiday thing so they had like a plain one and then i seen this one with all the pink stuff on it it's supposed to bloom like little pink flowers that look like lots right there produces a tube shaped double flower formed by both shorter leaves that curl back keep near a 68 degree fahrenheit for continuous flowering for best results pinch plant segments less than wait this is a lot of upkeep right here oh my gosh but for the most part it's so cute look at this a whole cactus. I actually have like a little love for cactuses. Even before I had moved to Arizona when I was there, I, I liked cactuses. Like, I don't know why, but I just like the, the whole look of it. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to care for this because it's not as easy as Sammy the snake plant, okay? Uh, but I did get it was on sale and I don't want it to die, all right? Oh, the only other thing that I did get, oh, what am I talking about? I got something else in here. Um, hold on. Hold your horses. Let me stop. Um, I got some press on nails you guys i got three so if y'all didn't see in the thanksgiving vlog i did try press on nails for the first time i didn't do such a great job i rushed it and they popped off like the next not all of them but for the most part it popped off the next day so the next time i tried to do it the installation better my mom gave me a couple little tips and these that you've seen when i did the engagement announcement these are press ons these are press ons i think i did a good job uh, i might do like a whole dedicated short video showing you how you can make your press ons look really nice like salon y'all yeah, remember my little fail yeah my little fail when i went to the nail salon paid like over 100 and something dollars for my nails and my toes and they broke off my long brown nails i was so mad about that this are long and nice and you would never know you would have thought i went to the damn salon at least i would think and i only paid like eight and change so i got these oh my gosh how beautiful are these they're matte purple if y'all don't know my favorite color is lilac and the purple family i love it obviously all my stuff is not going to be that color because it don't look good with like a lot of home decor and stuff but if i could i would i love the color um i, I never really tried matte because i feel like it scratches up and it look weird but it's press on so it might not be too bad and then i did get these beautiful that is like an ombre purple and then it has some diamonds. And then I did get some short classic nudish ones, which I think is gonna be nice because not all the time I want my nails to be long. But it's been one, two, three, four days with these and none of them popped off. I've been doing a lot with it. And just let me know if you want me to do like a whole video on uh, press on nails. Um, I will, I ain't no expert, I just started, but I feel like this could really be my thing. I'll save my money as well. Another thing too, I am wearing one of my glasses from the last vlog that I shared from Zulu. So one thing I did want to clear up, you're probably like, why are you wearing the blue light glasses? Connie, Connie was actually a prescription. The company mixed it up by accident. It is a prescription, but they put it as a blue light by accident. So I just wrote it that way and I mixed it up. So Newell is supposed to actually switch with Connie. If you remember the names of the glasses that I showed, Newell is actually a blue light and Connie is actually a prescription for me. Cause you actually can have all of them prescribed or you can have all of them as blue light. What I love about about the glasses you can have any frame as anything you want so just because I show the glasses as prescription don't mean you have to get it as prescription you could get it as anything so that's why I'm rocking it I'm so happy that Connie is actually a prescription I could see perfectly through them because I could wear them and <laughs> let me tell you how cute I'm looking in these these nice little clear frames right and I did pick up my prescription I got um, my thyroid medication I was running low on that and I got some iron pills so I did get my results back really quickly I don't want to talk too much because I know y'all be skipping when I be talking all right I don't know why y'all be skipping when I'm talking this is a vlog and I'm just trying to you know express myself to y'all so let me just talk real fast so anyways I found out that my thyroid levels are actually high it went up to a 10.7 y'all and the normal range I think is like 0.4 to 4.6 so it's high which I don't know why I gotta find an endocrinologist I've been having a hard time finding a good endocrinologist he said my iron was low which I know because I am anemic I knew it was gonna be low and my hemoglobin levels below so that's that so now i'm gonna pack these things away really quickly and whatever else we got for the day today y'all seeing the blog and yeah make sure you subscribe thumbs up the video all of that i don't gotta tell y'all that right <laughs> if y'all want to see more of me just subscribe and all of that <laughs>
Y'all, I am so hungry. So I'm about to heat up this corned beef and rice that I made two nights ago. Like I can't have leftovers after three days. <laughs> I don't know who else is like that. So I have this corned beef with onions. I didn't do like corn or any extra and I have some plants in here and some white rice. So I'm gonna warm that up really quickly. You guys, I've been, I'm hungry, okay? Mm. Yeah, you guys, so I'm here doing a little, um, getting some content together, organizing things. I really want to go to the mall because I feel like I need two bras. I want to go to Macy's. But I'm not going to go back outside today. I don't really feel like it. My sister wants to go to the mall, so I think I might go on the weekend when she comes to sleep over. Mm. I was thinking about washing my hair and washing Mila's hair. Mila don't like to wash her hair. Mind you, when she's actually washing it, she don't have a problem. But when I tell her, she gets mad. Okay, you love your baby shark? Yeah, my mom gets it. With my mom, get it. Yes, I got it for you. My mom get it for me. That's so funny. It's sweet and awesome. I got the black raspberry ice drink. This is good. The cherry limeade is good. Orange mango. I really love the ice drinks. Despite what people say. I love it. <laughs> Y'all, that was a blessing. Bless. I ate the whole thing. Mila's eating her leftovers too. She almost done. Now I'm going to take um, my B12. Since I ate, you supposed to take it with milk. Um, shout out to Rebecca. Once again, my girl, my virtual bestie. Rebecca recommended these B12, B12 vitamins. Why am I out of breath? It may be my low iron, but I can't take the iron yet that I got today because it says wait. Um, I was supposed to either take it an hour before my meal and two to three hours after my meal. So I didn't take it an hour before because I had taken my thyroid medication and you can't take anything else with your thyroid medication or it won't work. Yes, baby. Oh, good job. Dang, this thing giving me bad because I took too long to eat. Here are the vitamins. I'll link them below. So it says you could take one to two. No, you could take one to two. Wait, what? Take one. <laughs> Take one, one to two times a day, which would mean take one a day or two a day. But I only do one. Um, this is how it looks. Oh, shoot. That's how it looks right there. I'm used to taking pills even bigger than this, so it's not a big deal. I picked this up when I was in Key Food. I forgot to show y'all. I mean, it's the smart water with antioxidant. And I love to drink my water room temp. I can't really drink it any other way. Or else it like, I don't know, it make me feel funny. Um, right now, while I was eating, I'm watching um what's her name? I am Chelsea Jania. I hope I'm saying that right. I literally just discovered her today, right here. And I've been like binge watching her. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna watch a couple more of her videos. And I'll see y'all in a second. And Mila is asking for one of the um, Kinder Snowmans as her dessert. Go ahead. Which one you want? That one. Why you can't just see it and not have to have it? Grandma said. Grandma said to give it. Give it to me. <laughs> Which one? That one. This one. Yeah. That is yummy. Yummy. You make me want to try one now, too. You're going to share with mommy? This is big. Yeah, it's so big. And yes, mommy. Heavy. All right. Yay. Mila, you, can you share with mommy? This is huge. Yeah. Open the piece. I'm going to open it. It's so yummy. Yummy, yummy. In my tummy. No, no, we don't have no tummy. 
<laughs> Ooh! Wow! Okay, bite it. Mmm. Oh, look at that. It's hollow. There's nothing in there. Oh, it's hollow. It's hollow. There's not a thing in there. There's no thing in there. It's hollow. I think all of everything is on. Oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It broke as soon as mommy tried to break it. Let's see. Oh, no. Mmm. Mm. This is good. Yeah. I thought there was more to it. Where's the crunchy wafer? I don't know. You can feed yourself. I ain't feeding you no more. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Because you almost took off my finger. I, I, I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay, baby. Okay. <laughs> y'all so yes <laughs> i decided to run outside to go to tj maxx since i went outside earlier i had this huge urge to go to the store probably do a little bit of christmas shopping if i can and there's a couple other things that i was hoping to find i decided to do it too late because now it's like rush hour it's like around 4 p.m and everyone's outside it's like a lot going on but i still had that urge and i'm like you know what? let me stop fighting the urge let me just go um so mila is out with me <laughs> mila hasn't been outside 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 since she had like that little nasty head cold i've been keeping her like inside and you know now she'll be out be out be out so yeah so we're just gonna run in there i might bring y'all in there for a little bit but i want to concentrate to be in and out because y'all let me show y'all it's like it is like a lot going on right now <laughs> and um i looked it up online 3 p.m is their busiest 4 p.m it starts to die down a little bit so it's like 4 4 14 now so hopefully it's not too bad i hope they didn't empty out the stores because i hate going um christmas shopping and stuff and just shopping in general too close to like christmas date because it just be too much and i love to like just be zen and peaceful when shopping so we gonna see how it is this hat on Mila. It's so cute. Look at mommy.
Hey you guys, it's been a couple of hours since I got back in from TJ Maxx. I'm tired now. <laughs> but I just wanted to show y'all really quickly a couple of things that I did pick up. It was more like a retail therapy type of thing. Like, you know, I just been feeling a little ways. I actually really didn't do Christmas shopping like I thought I would because the world was in there. Um, and I put back a lot of stuff. I was gonna get a, tr a Christmas tree skirt, but there was one, but it was like 56 inches. That was like so big. So I'm gonna just show y'all a couple of things that I got. Oh, I really wanted something like this and I wanted it rounded, but I actually found it like in a square and a, as a set of two for $9.99. It's a, tr a tree vet. I hope I'm saying that right. Wooden tree vet, you know, like when you set something hot or you can use it like for decor. Um, so I got two of them. I already had one from Ross that I used for my Thanksgiving setting table. But I really like this because I have an idea for it in the kitchen. And then I can always use the extra one like on the table or somewhere else. So I really just wanted one because the other ones that I was looking at, they were sold. They were $9.99, but it was just one. So I was like, makes sense for me to get the more compact one that comes with a set of two for the same price. So I really like this a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And I can't wait to see this come to life. So I did get like a lot of like stuff for the kitchen. Um, because I'm gonna be in the kitchen more more often than I have been. I want to sharpen up my homemaking skills. You guys, I'm tired. So I got this little bacon sheet right here bacon pan um it was 5.99 by baker's touch and it is so little and cute look at that how cute is that right oh my gosh i i have a bigger one and i have a rounded one but i don't have any little one like this i do have a little one that's more deeper well it's mid-sized but it's not as small as this and I, we've been making like a lot of baked cookies and stuff like that and instead of whipping out like the bigger pans i could just use this small one so i really like that and this is 12 and 1 4th by 8 and 3 8 8 and 3 8 inches and it's textured next thing for the kitchen is something that i actually been needing and that and that is another pot so i got this pot right here it was 12.99 which i think is a good price and uh what else I think it is um okay so it's a non-stick saucepan seven inches and it holds 1.7 liters it says low for low fat cooking pfoa free what is pfoa what is that yeah. i need to look that up real quick so pfoa free means that it was not used the chemical PFOA was not used in the manufacturing process of the non-stick coating, which is usually PTFE or related to plastic compound. Oh, so it's, a P B it's supposed to be more healthier. I'm so tongue-tied because I'm tired. So um, I have another pot that y'all see me make my, my rice in like every night. And you would think I would just get like a whole cookware set, but I did have a cookware set. The one that I'm using right now is the T-File one that I got in my first apartment in Arizona. And it's all scratched up and stuff. So I'm still using it because there's nothing wrong with it. But I've just been getting like little additions to it. Like that big old pan that I had got from TJ Maxx the other day. The nostril one. I love that pan. And then I found this one. Um... And I think I'm gonna love it too, cause it has like this rubbery feel to it, this little see-through top and this handle. I love this handle. And just look at it, you guys. I think it's nice. This is Leo right here. This is so cute. I, I like this a lot. I can have extra stuff being made cause sometimes we need like another pot, not a pan. I have a lot of pans, but need another pot so um, I actually need a Dutch pot as well because I want to be cooking like a lot of different stuff soon so I'm really digging that you guys so I really wanted a holiday mug but I can't really find one that matches my taste um the Santa's helpers one I kind of like gave that to Lockheed so I, I really just want like a holiday one but I couldn't find it. so I'm like you know what I'm gonna stop searching for a holiday one I just got this one it definitely caught my eyes it says choose happy and it has this little inspiration stone right there it says spread joy so i really love things that are inspirational 
and just have little notes on it like that's why i love some of my coasters it says lift your spirits and things like that like i love to see little writing and things like that that just remind you and i feel like it just helps with your mood and helps with my mood i don't know about anybody else but i i like stuff like that but it has to be aesthetically pleasing to me or just pleasing to my eyes so everything is not really about aesthetic this aesthetic that it's more so how it makes me feel and the look of it so i just love it like look at the stone wear down there okay like i just really like this mug i collect mugs if you don't know but it has to be something about it i have to like it either if it's a set of mugs that's for everyone you know for visitors and stuff um but if it's a particular mug it gotta be something about it to make me want it because i see a million mugs when i go into the places like tj maxx and other places but it gotta be something so that pumpkin spice it up mug that i got for thanksgiving i hate it with the cheetah print inside i feel like if it didn't have the cheetah print i'm actually gonna be giving that from to my mom because she likes it sweet so moving on i got this last thing for the kitchen it is um bamboo lid glass container set oh the mug was i didn't even tell y'all it's 7.99 for this so this is 14.99 which i feel like is a little pricey but in ikea these are sold separately the lids and the, the pan and yeah it probably would come out some more in ikea and i seen it as a set and i love this size such a nice little size and you can um, microwave it you can use it in the oven but before you microwave it or put it in the oven you have to remove the lid but i love the sizing it's 22 ounces for each I think it's so cute, especially when I do my little meal preps for Mila. Um, it'll be nice. I feel like this is a good size for her. Or if I just want to put away something that's small in size or maybe a snack for myself. I just feel like this little set will come in handy. But I just seen it sitting by itself. I didn't see any more to say, oh, let me get another pack. So I already have bigger ones to this, but I feel like this is going to go so well. I really like it. Shifting a little bit to some beauty. Um, there wasn't a lot of stuff in the TJ Maxx. I feel like everyone and their mothers and they're buying holiday things. But I got this not on my watch. Um, instant detangling therapy. And I got the oversized one. They had like a medium sized bottle. But I actually got a small bottle. And that's how I know about it when I tried it from Aunt Jackie's. And it works really well. Like detangling your hair before like washing it or styling it really helps when you have kinky curly hair it softens your hair and restores the balance moisture balance and eliminates knots and tangles and that's something that i've been dealing with so i do recommend this product i had it before but when it finished i didn't re-up that's what happens with me i'll have a good product but then i'll go on and keep testing others and when i actually find one that works i forget to re-up on it <laughs> i don't be forgetting about my edge control though because i can't live without my damn edge control but listen but i mean products like this so if I know a product is good, I don't mind buying it big like this. And it was $12.99. And the funny thing is when I picked it up, I didn't even check the price because at that moment I didn't care. I just know I wanted it to be in. And it had a pump. That's what sold me. Like it's so easy to do that. When you have to squirt it out, I feel like sometimes you use too much excess excess product. If y'all seen in the little montage of <laughs> my little time. Well, I was in there longer than I showed y'all of TJ Maxx. Um, I did the beauty section is always stocked. Okay. All right. I found this, this essential manicure and pedicure tool set. Let me show you like this. Um, since I'm gonna be doing my nails a lot more, I just wanted something more sturdier. They have the plain steel, um, but I thought this pink had more um more life to it. I guess. Um, I would really have loved that they had it in purple or like li lilac, but they didn't. So. I, I like this. I really want to, um, the cuticle scissors because y'all can see my cuticles get wild sometimes. really want the cuticle cutter and I want one that's not cheap so I don't be hurting myself. And I got another foot scraper <laughs> in pink. So I have one in green, like a mint green. And I think I just got one. What was the other one that I showed you? I was it black or something i don't know but this pink is so cute right here i mean they really do work for me after a while you have to replace your pro callus remover um that's what it is if you don't know what it is um i shared it with y'all a couple of times i love it after a while you gotta remo um, renew re get a new one okay because it doesn't i don't know if they had the replacement blade i didn't even look that up 
Um, I didn't look it up. I got this Ellen Tracy brand of the, what is this? Um, Extractor Duo. We got the Large Loop and the Pimple Lancet. So I hope I'm saying that right. This is how it looks right here. This glare from my ring light is crazy right now, you guys. Like, yeah, so um, just to make it a little easier when get rid of like whiteheads and blackheads, I'm, I'm tired. Um, the callus remover was $5.99 and then this was, I think $3.99, yeah. Also got the hat that I showed y'all from Mila. Um, I ripped off the tag and everything, so I don't remember how much it was, but it came with gloves. It, it fits her head and it's so cute because the other hat that I got from the set with mine, when she has a ponytail in her head, it don't sit right and it don't come over her ears and I want her ears to be warm, right? <laughs> this one comes all the way down even with her ponytail. So I really think it's so cute. How it looks with the little pom pom. So that concludes my miniature TJ Maxx haul. <laughs> so I'm gonna close out the vlog now, you guys, now I'm tired. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Deuces.